Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. There are times inside of a simulation study where we may only want to apply a fixture or an external force on a face, but maybe only on a section of a face instead of the entire face. So in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can use the split command inside of the simulation study to apply a fixture or a load to a section of a face instead of the whole face. Now, if you're a SOLIDWORKS user, you're probably familiar with the split uh, tool uh, inside of just core SOLIDWORKS. But this tool can actually be utilized directly from the simulation study. And that's what I'm going to show you here in this video. So to start, I'm just going to right click on my external loads and I'm going to add a force. And what you'll notice is that up here at the top, you'll see two tabs. You'll see type and split. So I'm going to click on that split tab. And here I can select to split this face. Now, I can use an existing sketch or I can create a new sketch. So I'm going to create a new sketch and I'm just going to select this front face here and just draw a little uh, circle so that I can apply my force to that particular area of the face. Uh, once i done, I can say create split and it creates that split for me. So you can see I have two separate sections. Um, now I can click back on the type tab and apply the magnitude of the force that I would like. Verify my direction here and then I can just hit the green check mark to say OK. And there you can see the force is applied. Now again, this can be done for external loads or for fixtures. So if I right click just for example on a fixture here, um, you can see the split tab is available there and I could do the same thing if wanted. Now at this time, for using the split line functionality at the assembly level, the sketch for creating the split line should already be available on the part. It is not possible to create the sketch at the assembly level and then use it for the split line as it is at the part level. If you're in the assembly level, you will see that create sketch button grayed out. So just a little FYI there for you. So there you have it, a quick way to use the split command right inside of the simulation study to be able to apply forces and or uh, any other external loads and fixtures to the model. Thank you. Have a great day.